Welcome to That Oil Show. I'm so excited because today we have a special guest. Yay! Yes! Karen Douglas. Um, this dear friend of mine, we've known each other for a very long time, 16 years. 17. 2006, yeah. since I've been in Young Living. Yeah. And so um, thank you for being such a great support. So she's um, our upline, Yay. Diamond. And um, I love you very much. Thank you, you for too. all that you do for <laughs> us. And I we're just honored to have you here on this show to share your stories and your knowledge, which is so vast, of our Young Living essential oils and products. And so um, today, you know, we're talking, it's March, everybody's thinking spring cleaning. And so um, it really, it reminds me of my beginnings in Young Living. I, I was not raised with a healthy lifestyle. Um, I didn't know about harsh chemicals and toxins in products. So when I got into Young Living, that's when my eyes were open. And I remember getting this little brochure that Young Living sold a very long time ago and had a little baby in a bathtub. <laughs> had a baby in a bathtub. Um, I'm not going to say the name of the, the brochure because it's non-compliant. <laughs> but it cost a dollar. And I saw that on the website. And I'm like, oh. <gasps> oh no, I need to know what this information is because what if there's something that I'm doing in my home to hurt my babies, you know, and my children. And so I got the little brochure and what it was doing was talking about harsh chemicals and toxins that are commonly put into personal care products and household cleaning products. And one of the first things I read, I remember reading was a toothpaste. And I'm like, wait a minute. I thought I, I had just recently bought some toothpaste um, from uh, uh, the store that said it was natural mm -hmm. and yeah. said it was like better for your kids. And so I began to, you know, I was learning about ingredients to be a, a label reader. And so I looked at my kid's toothpaste and I was like, oh no, I've been hurting my kids all these <laughs> years. Like, I was like, oh my goodness. So, you know, everything was very dramatic back then because like we were, you know, doing our best to get over health issues. So my first product that, you know, a lot of people say ditch and switch mm -hmm. um, was our Thieves toothpaste as far as personal care products. That was the first thing that I swapped out. And um, and our kids, you know, we've used it ever since. So how about y'all? What it, oh, what's your it. story? <laughs> like what, I love it. I what love things it. did you start switching out in your home with your Young Living products? I would love to say all the things at one time, but we know that's not true, right? Right. <laughs> No, that's very difficult. It takes time. It takes time. And I actually started, well, one of the things I started with that I remember off the top of my head, um, so this is lip balm. It's just that simple. Lip balm. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. It was, I was using just a regular brand name that I thought was a safe brand. And um, it wasn't. Again, reading the label, you find out that it's not. You're shocked. You're surprised. You're a little hurt because you trusted yes. what you thought That's you right. knew. And, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, I'm sorry. You lied to me. But um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> when I realized yeah. that Young Living had lip balm, how simple is that? Lip balm. Seriously. Yeah. I was so excited because I'm a lip balmer. I mean, I carry one everywhere in my purse. There's one in the purse. There's one in the pocket. There's one in the car. I mean, they're everywhere. And it's just simple. But it just, it just takes a little bit. At the beginning, you're trying to figure things out and, mm -hmm. and see where things are going and life is taking you and trying to understand all the things. Mm -hmm. So you need to take your time, see what's out there and then go for it there. And then my second one was actually the cough drops. Well, the, 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 right, the, yeah. the lozenge, mm -hmm. because when it was that time of the season in the fall, it was like, okay, we can't use those anymore. And, you know, here's the reason why. Read the right. back and you'll see it. And well, because you have food yeah. colorings like yes. the red number 40 yes. And, yes. and all those artificial dyes that are used in medicines and, yes. and yes. you know, even the cough drops. And yeah. we have to be aware of all of that. All of the good Like things. with the toothpaste, um, this sodium lauryl sulfate yes. and sodium lauryl sulfate that is originally like 
uh, concrete, like foaming cleaner or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But anyway, and I was like, automotive. <gasps> yeah. That's yeah. in yeah. the toothpaste. Yeah. 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 Automotive yeah. degreaser is really. Automotive yeah. degreaser, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's in personal care yes. products. Yeah. I know for myself, like my budget didn't allow, like I was learning about all these ingredients to not have like aluminum. You know, we don't want aluminum right. in our personal right. care products. We don't want sodium lauryl sulfate. We don't want, you know, talc or, mm. um, and there's so many lists of ingredients. There's, there's so many. So, you know, do some research and find those lists and be a label reader. But I couldn't switch everything out all at yeah. once. I needed to do a little But that's bit real. Mm -hmm. It that's is real. real. It nobody, is. nobody can switch it all out at that's once. Right. I mean, like, the, and, and be wise about it and get the understanding that you need. And for me, when I said the, the lip balm, Everything else I thought was real. I always wondered why it felt a little drying. You know, mm. you apply it right. and it goes on all moist and you're feeling good about yourself, you know, all the good <laughs> stuff. And then all of a sudden you're like, I need more. Wait, I need more. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why do I keep needing more and more? And that's, you don't find that with Young Living's. Right. And you yeah. know what that is, actually? Some yeah. of y'all probably already yeah. know, like the propylene glycol. Yes. And they put it in um, lotions yes. and... And then they started putting it in food products. I was gonna say, can we be real? They put yes. it in your yeah, cereal. Right. Yes, they do. Your they brownie do. Mix. your bread. So yeah. propylene glycol <laughs> yes. is basically antifreeze, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and it gives the appearance of. of creating moisture um, in products, but then it leaves you dried out. Yes. That's one of the, um, the, the material safety data sheets with propylene glycol. It says it's actually drying to the skin. So why would they put it in lotion? Right. But Why to sell more lotion. Anything. But yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Exactly. And so then they put it in, oh, angel food cake. It yes. makes it more moist. Yep. Because, wow. but so, yeah. But it's drying and out your intestines. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what about y'all? What were some of the first things that so you switched? I, I came in with a lung issue that my testimony was, you know, and so my immediate switch was candles. We used to have candles in every yes. room of the house. Oh, oh yes. So did we. And Loved so, my candles. Yes. Yeah, and yes. I didn't, I guess, I, you know, I, I had to learn. I had to learn what's in the candles. And when I did, I was like, oh, these got to go, these got to go. And, but my family was used to the smells, so I had to make new smells. So my big thing was, you know, getting the smells in. And back then, we didn't have a lot of diffuser options. We had a little atomizer uh -huh. thing oh, yeah. that yeah. honestly well, barely Filled up the whole room. And our kit little. didn't come with a no, and it didn't. No, no, it didn't. Oh, wait, what kit? Y'all got a kit? No, I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> y'all. She didn't get a kit. She's the OG. She's the OG. <laughs> we did not get a kit. When did you get in Young Living? What year? Um, 2002 or 2003. I can't, I can't remember. But so it's we, there was almost 20 yeah, years. Yeah, it, it's just this year, December. But they didn't even have a kit. No yeah. kit. Mm -hmm. There no. was no special yeah. bundles with yep. the Young Living yeah. has the most amazing, <laughs> amazing. values yes. in the bundles. Yes. And the yes. things they get. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that was the first thing. And of course, we, you know, I'm putting it on cot balls, putting it all in, you know, around the house and dripping it on carpets and, you know, just trying to get the smells in. So that was my first thing. And, you know, um, I came in, you know, against the wishes of my spouse. So we had to have negotiation and uh, we negotiated that I could spend $50 a month and it had to come out of the grocery bill. So uh -huh. it was like, okay, oh, here's yeah. the, here, we're, getting, we're getting grocery yeah. savvy now too because you know, I need these oils. Yeah. But you know, I need these oils. When I, my very first introduction convinced me that I needed the oils. And so we were buying oils. Well, the, the very second thing I did was the thieves cleaner mm. because I was like, okay, I got to get rid of the dish soap. I got to get rid of the laundry soap. The, you know, when you start reading the boxes, it starts frightening. Everything right. is frightening after that. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? Get rid of it. Oh my God, ah, get rid of it. And so I got the thieves cleaner so I could make dish soap, so I could make laundry soap, so I could make hand soap, so that, you know, I could trust that, you know, all my kids were healthy and I have pets and, you know, Pet lovers will get this, okay? But pet lovers are almost more concerned about their pet's health yeah. than, yeah. than their children's health. And so it, it may sound a little crass, but you're like, ah, these poor animals that get no choice. They don't have a choice, and I'm throwing all these chemicals on them. What am I doing? You know, so that was my thing, is just switching out all that so that everything that touches my kids or animals is I could trust. Yeah. I'm tr even if they eat it. I'm like, they're not going to die. Yeah. They're going to be good. fine. Yeah. So good. Who else? So good. Well, the thieves cleaner was the first thing we, and I think a lot of people have that same experience, but, and I wasn't sure at first, like I had, you know, they always say you can get rid of everything out under your sink. And I kind of like pushed it all back into the corner. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
we'll see. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. <laughs> what yeah. if we need it? You know. <laughs> and then, then I was using it, and then, but then over a couple of months, I start really researching and realizing that this, the chemicals really, as you research them, they're not just kind of okay. Like they're actually very unsafe. They, they mm. cause health issues, mm, right. and so. I had the day, I had the day where I was like, pull it all out and I threw it all in the trash. And that, that, just that visual of my one bottle of thieves and I had different, so different dilutions. So <laughs> some things, you can start like three or four bottles but some's like a really strong one, the other's not. But that's all that's under my sink. Mm -hmm. it, that was such a like, oh my goodness moment. Yeah, that was <laughs> amazing. At first yeah. it's like, is this enough? Is this enough? <laughs> is this yeah, enough? is it? It's not, it's not, you know, crowding right. the sink, so yeah. is it enough? And my husband's like, let's put the Windex back. <laughs> <laughs> we got to work on, you know, he had to, he had to be convinced. The whole house. He is now. He's totally convinced now, but yes. Hey guys, welcome back to another series episode of Biggest Bang for Your Buck. Yes. And we're gonna show you two quick things that you can do to stretch your dollar and to make your products work for you. So the first one we're gonna do is we're going to make a at-home um, DIY bleach. So we went ahead and already filled up this bottle with two cups of water, but we're gonna put but we're gonna put the other stuff in and then we'll just top it off with water okay, after. we'll do that. So we need a half a cup of peroxide. Okay. And we just used an old, Ninksha bottle, um, and we're gonna put two cups of peroxide. I'm sorry, half a cup. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so sciencey yes. right now. And then we're gonna do two capfuls, and that's how I measure, mm. of Thieves Cleaner. And then hold on, we'll put this in there too. Okay. And so 10 drops of lemon oil. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. ten. There's like more than ten for sure. Came out. Okay. So we're gonna pour it in here, and then we're gonna top it off with the rest of the water. We don't want to overflow it, right? Yeah. So just go all the way. Yep. To where there's a little sudsy. There's a little suds. So we'll kind of go a little bit slower, but okay. Okay. Well, yeah. We'll stop it there for the suds, and then we're just gonna, you know invert it a few times just to make sure it's all mixed in. Definitely write bleach on here because <laughs> you don't want to drink it or your family to drink it, right? <laughs> and you can add this to, you can soak your clothes in it, you can add it to your um, wash. Right. Um, and it's a non-toxic option Amazing. for your laundry and whatever else you need. So that's the first one. Okay, second easy, one. Easy. Second one is, have you ever used Thieves hand soap or any of the other hand soaps? We have lavender, Christmas winter spirit, nights, winter nights, and the mm -hmm. lemon one, the luscious yep. lemon. And when you first get them, they are so very thick. They are. And they feel really great, right? But did you know you could dilute them? Mm. So this is an easy trick to make your hand soap go further. Awesome. Is Pretty I just, thing. yep, I just take about. a jar. Love it. And I um, dump half of it out. Okay. So I just dump half of this out into a mason jar like this. This one's actually, this might actually already be diluted. We're gonna pretend. But we're gonna not. pretend it's not. So you just dilute, you just do that, and then I just save this for later. I stick it in my cabinet at home, I save it for later, I fill this up with water. Mm -hmm. And just regular tap. Regular old tap water. I mean, you could use fancy water okay. if you want, if you feel like being fancy. And then you have now stretched um, your hand soap. You can actually also do this if you get the refills. Yes. You That's can just put. What I do you know, an inch or so in the bottom, fill it up with water, and Good you've stretched your dollar um, a little bit further. So, yeah, hope that's helpful. Great ideas. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Max. And we're Farm Junkies. We are, today Distillery Junkies. Today Distillery Junkies. So tell us the purpose of the condenser. Okay, so the, with the lid down, this condenser, uh, the lid on that, that pipe hooks into the condenser. So steam is, is 212 degrees, so that's a vapor. And the oil particles are coming up with that vapor, comes into a condenser. 
The condenser has cold water running around it with special tubes and the vapor goes in and the, with the drop in temperature, it turns the vapor back into a liquid. So it condenses the vapor to a liquid that goes into a separator, which we'll see in just a little bit. So all of this is, is the, that Gary developed to be able to unhook it and hook it right back up time and time again. This was his idea, his baby his research, his development that, that put this together. And we'll see a little bit more of what comes out of the condenser when we get down below. This is now where the oil and the water are coming down and cooling off. So it's the steam is turning back into water. And so as it's coming down, it's gonna continue down this pathway into the separator. And of course, we all know that oil and water don't mix. So as it rises, as it starts to continually cool off, it's gonna separate and the oil is on top and the water is on the bottom. One of my favorite experiences with this distillery experience was with Gary in Ecuador. He was talking and explaining to us all about this process. He opened a valve to start um, getting some water uh, oil to come off. And what happened was he continued to talk. He was so excited about the process and the condenser. Oil went everywhere on the ground. So he's standing there talking, is giving this great lecture. And immediately we all hit the ground and start rubbing up all the oil we can. He got it turned off, but it was an amazing experience. So you've got to come to the farm for yourself to see this experience and smell it. Oh, it's awesome. This is juniper, by the way. Hey, Wendy, do you know what the hardest part of starting a new juice cleanse is? No, what? Getting all the juice out of my Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Talia. And I'm Wendy. And this is, is the Science, Science Highlight. This month's supplement is Juvitone. Juvitone is a phytonutrient supplement that promotes healthy liver function. The liver is really important to your overall health. Did you know that the liver is the only organ that can regrow after losing up to 75% of its original size? In fact, when a person donates more than half of the liver, then it can return to its original size in almost two weeks. The liver is an amazing organ and has lots of important functions. In fact, it has over 500 vital functions and can perform over 200 of them at the same time. That's what I call multitasking. The liver really is one of the most important organs in the body. It cleanses and purifies the blood and is key in converting carbohydrates to energy. If your liver is stressed, it can affect your energy levels, digestion, and skin. It can become bogged down with toxins and synthetic chemicals and heavy metals. The more bogged down your liver gets, the more body systems are affected. Some common side effects of a sluggish or congested liver that might need some TLC are skin reactions and conditions, fatigue, headaches, digestive problems, irritability, mood swings, and brain fog. The liver also plays a role in detoxifying the blood and body, regulating most chemical and hormone levels in the blood, producing and excreting bile, breaking down and creating nutrients, breaking down larger substances so that they're more easy to use for the rest of the body, producing cholesterol, which is important for your hormones, and storing glycogen for energy. Phew, I'm tired just hearing all that. I know, <laughs> that's why it's so important to love on your liver. It's a good thing we have Juvitone. Speaking of Juvitone, let's talk about what's in it that makes it so good. Choline is an essential nutrient that impacts the liver, brain, muscles, and nervous system. Your body can't make enough of this, so you have to get it through diet or supplementation. It supports healthy cholesterol levels, cell structure, communication, metabolism, the creation of your DNA, and it's a neuro neurotransmitter. It directly prevents liver damage, and low intake can cause uh, complications in pregnancy. L-cysteine promotes the production of glutathione, which is one of the most powerful antioxidants and is vital in protecting the liver. Methionine is an essential amino acid. It can convert into several sulfur-containing molecules with important functions, such as glutathione and SAMI, which helps to protect against liver damage. Inositol helps rid the liver of fat and bile. B-propolis supports detoxification and beetroot, which provides a source of liver-protecting enzymes. 
And last, but certainly not least, Oregon grapefruit. This herb is well known among herbalists for its benefits for the liver. It is used to improve the flow of bile in the body, stimulate liver function, and ultimately help it to clean the blood. It works to decrease bacterial resistance to antibiotics and to decrease congestion in the liver. When your liver is congested, stuff can't flow through and be eliminated. Kind of like when your nose is congested and air can't flow through easily. Juvitone includes lemon, German chamomile and rosemary, geranium, myrtle, and blue tansy essential oils, all known to be supportive to the liver. Well, thanks for joining us for this science highlight. Let us know if you add Juvitone to your daily regimen. I think it'll make a deliver out of you. <laughs> We came into Young Living and then I just hid my box under the bed for a little while <laughs> because I was like, oh, I totally got suckered into this. I don't even know what this stuff is and I do not want to tell my husband. <laughs> so I just like hid all my stuff under the bed for about three or four months. And then when I realized, um, you know, what I had, I was like, okay. And so as far as personal care, um, you know, home products, the first one we did was Thieves Cleaner. And the reason was maybe different than some other people. I needed the thing that was going to affect the most people quickly. Mm -hmm. okay. And so that was stop, because I was like a bleach person. I was like, I'm bleach everything. I'm 409 and bleach and Windex and all the things that make you, like when you smell like your nose hairs burn. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Like I was cleaning. So, um, so I got to, got, I got to get, I felt like with that, I could get rid of many things, but only replace it with one. So I was saving money. Mm. Um, and it was affecting multiple people in my house. Um, because we had a, a child who was, um, having some issues with her lungs as well and, and airway stuff. And we, I was like, okay, well, what are we, what are we breathing in? Yeah. We're breathing in the stuff that I'm cleaning with. Mm -hmm. And so that was our first, um, that was our first ditch and switch. And we, I used it for everything. Like, because like I said, I was still kind of, I was a, in the closet young living <laughs> user for a while. And so I was like, how do I hide this? I was like, I'm going to put it in the Windex bottle. I'm going to clean it out and put it in the Windex bottle. And um, I did have to do that for a little while because, well, for one, I didn't want people to think I was weird. So when they came over, I'm like, yeah, just get the Windex bottle. It's they're, like, now. they're like, it's yellow. It's like, I'm like, I'm it's like, brown it's now because I was thinking it's, <laughs> it's a false sin. It's a false <laughs> cinnamon. So anyway, yep. <laughs> You so do what you have to do. do. Do what you gotta do. What about you, Amanda? Okay, well, I'm I'm gonna say also the thieves because I'm like you, Talia. I kind of what's that product that everybody is gonna be touching? And I had littles at the time, so um, and I was. Let me just say, I know some moms out there will totally relate. Your first kid, you're like, clean everything. Do not let a speck of dirt or germ be on anything, right? The second one, I was like. Eh, You'll be fine. <laughs> really fine. But I was in, in that it. phase when I did come in. I was in that phase where I was like a clean freak. I just need to say, please forgive me if you came to my house and I like wiped up everything. Uh, like, you know, some people are just not as. Some people had like a lot of kids before. I had kids. <laughs> so I, I learned my lesson. But here's the thing: I started off with the thieves, and then not too long ago. They brought out my favorite, or they created my favorite, one of my favorite products. But it is my favorite product of the Thieves cleaning line, and it is the scrub. Yes, yes, yes. that's right. Over it's there. amazing. I was a comet. Yes. right there. I was, yes. com can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the stuff you clean your bathtubs with. Oh, yeah. That is the powdery stuff. Okay, that is what I needed <laughs> so bad. So when this stuff came out, I kid you not, I probably have a reel somewhere or like a story somewhere hidden on my social media of Aaron and I, my husband and I, cleaning everything with it. We're like, oh my gosh, there's a rust spot. Let's go clean that. <laughs> you know, it's so, it was so amazing. And it was like, look, I hardly have to even rub. It's so gentle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were an infomercial for like a whole day. We were infomercialing. Um, but let me just say, I love it. And the fact that it doesn't burn my nostrils. Yep. <laughs> and it doesn't leave my skin like feeling rough. Cause how many of y'all cleaned things with gloves? Mm -mm. Oh yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't either. Y'all were the smart ones. I was just like roughing it. I'm like, you know, 
Um, but anyway, so nothing like that ever happens with these products. And, uh, and I'm amazed because they clean and yes. yeah. they're that powerful and they don't do all the things that they I don't hurt remember. you. Yeah. The gentleness. Yeah. 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 The gentleness on our skin. So that skin. was my... Well, you know, the, the next thing, too, for me was, well, personal care I started with, with um, the toothpaste. Yes. And then I added in the, the household ke- uh, cleaning products. Well, then pretty quickly, I switched out my skincare routine um, because I was, I always had very, very sensitive skin and... I just needed to make sure that I was putting things on my skin because, you know, our skin is our largest organ, right? And so what we put on our skin matters because it's going to eventually get into our bloodstream. And so um, I love our Young Living skincare. And um, I'm not going to, you know, today we're not going to go through all the different skincare lines. Um, We brought out the Balance. That's our newest skincare line. I love it. It is for sensitive, more oily or acne prone skin. Um, but I got the art skincare, that trio, um, first, and I switched out what I was cleaning my face with. And, um, and of course the shampoo and conditioner, I got to there because I had very sensitive skin in my scalp. Um, and so that, oh my goodness, took itch away. And like, I felt my head felt, my skin felt so incredibly clean. But so I love all of our personal care. Does anybody have favorite personal care products that you like to use? I love the serum. Yeah. The serum is so good. I, I'm, I'm going to tell my age. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Okay, go girl. girl. I've been Do in it. this Do a it. long time. So this Do is it. my 20th year. December will be 20 years with oh, Young wow. Living. And I personally think I look better now than I did yeah. back then. And I was younger. And maybe the children. Okay, anyways, we won't blame them. We won't blame them. <laughs> but the serum. <laughs> my kids are a blessing. Yes, they are. They really are. Yeah. But the serum so good. I am 56 years old. Wow. wow. I am. All of it. You look great. You oh, girl. Beautiful. Now, first of all, to God be the glory, honestly. Before the serum, <laughs> to God be the glory. <laughs> but, I mean, the serum, using the different Young Living products, mm-hmm. the skincare, it makes all the difference in the world. It, yes. it gets things good and clean, but it definitely keeps your skin. It could be sensitive or not sensitive. It doesn't matter. You get clean, but it's gentle. And yes. that's what I just love. But the serum is just, that is my buddy to this day. Yes. The yes. art renewal serum. Yes. It has the crushed orchid mm. in it. Yes. And yeah, it's love an it. amazing awesome. I love product. It. So good. Okay. I know you had, we may save this for another month, Okay, but <laughs> there's something you, well, you can say it twice. Which the means? lotion. Oh, oh, my the goodness. Story. <laughs> Tell gives, your lotion story. Is it which lotion? The appropriate story or the non-appropriate one? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> she has all kinds of stories. Um, yes, yeah, seedlings. Like on your skin. Yeah. Okay, so just a brief, like, overall. I, keratin, an overproduction of keratin is what I was blessed with. <laughs> um, thank you, Mom and Dad. Uh, no, I'm uh, But anyway, so I have skin like my father. And actually, one of my, our boys has skin like that. And it's basically these red bumps. And it's the skin on or your cells, they just don't flake off. They need a little bit of help, okay? So what I do is I have a hand scrubber, which is, Young Living needs to get one of these, but hey. Uh, it's, a, it's basically a, a mitt, and it's rough. And I scrub, you know, exfoliate. You can do a dry exfoliation, whatever. Um, and then I use gentle, like lavender soap, the lavender oatmeal bar, something gentle uh, to wash off. So this is when I shower. Then I get out of the shower. I just damp, like just apply the towel very lightly. So it's a little, my skin's still moist. Then I put on a product that I'm telling you, <laughs> I've given this product away to people when they tell me they have skin issues, uh, especially like body skin issues. And so um, it is the Young Living Seedlings Lotion. It's the baby lotion. It's the yeah, baby so- lotion. And it feels like, I know there's no silicone in there, but it feels like you have this moist barrier all over your body. And I actually put it on last night, right before, because I needed to look hydrated for today. <laughs> um, and I put it on my face. And I'm telling you, I like love how much. Yay. And you will be feeling, and if you have a loved one, like a husband, he will be feeling you too. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know. And then when you get 
in the sheets at night, it feels so good. <laughs> so, there there I'll is. stop there. <laughs> Uh, but the, yes, the seedlings lotion is yeah. is so so nice. Welcome to Animals and Oils. This is a segment where we hope to empower you yes. to use your oils with your pets. So when we talk about pets and we talk about cleaning, yes. we want to keep all the toxins out of our space. So you're going to clean your space. You're going to Claim your space. Claim your space. So I'm going to talk about cleaning. She's going to talk about claiming. Yes. How's that? <laughs> so when you're talking about cleaning your space, you want to remove all the toxic chemicals yes. and you want to replace it with a good, natural, all natural stuff. And we have the best stuff. It's yeah. these cleaner and all the dilution ratios are right on the bottle. You just get your water bottle, dilute it. I have one of these in every room of my house. She does. <laughs> because I don't she like does. to look for it. So when I want to grab it, it's right there. It's great for cleaning up pet things. Because yes. pets have things all the time. They do. And have um, <laughs> my dogs are actually afraid of the squirt bottle, so I use it as a training tool too, but we can talk about that another time. We also have the great Animal Sense shampoo, so you can take out the toxic shampoo and replace it with this. It's amazing for dogs and their hair. And then when you clean your space, you claim your space. So I, can I just add one more little tip yeah. that I recently heard someone that I talked to um, actually gave their dog a bath in Thieves Cleaner, household oh, yes. cleaner. And I said, you know, that is super safe if you're bathing your mm -hmm. dog in it, which, you know, I've used it for mouthwash. But well, that's a great anyway. That's a great <laughs> reason to replace it, too, because if they happen to get into the cleaner, Yes. You don't have to be worried because it's non-toxic. But back so. to the claiming your space, you know, sometimes you might notice that when you're sweeping or mopping or vacuuming, your sweet baby wants to chase because maybe they have the, uh, um, they might want a rat or whatever. Anyway, long story short, um, you can claim your broom by just positioning and tell them, uh-uh, and back them up. And when they go to calm begin to sweep again, and then provide another way for them to rat something with fun, like toys. Right, toys. Toys are for ratting, not boom, not brooms. Not brooming. <laughs> brooming. <laughs> that's yeah, what we what said. It's not, not sweeping, it's brooming. Are we brooming? brooming. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the way you're going to clean your space. You're going to claim your space using Young Living Essential Oils. So go, go be, be the, the boss, boss of it. it. All right, so a couple of questions I have. Is it spring? It is time for us to kind of clean up our rooms, do all the things. Um, what are some of the things you like to do as far as diffusing in your room? Do you like to diffuse a particular oil, a particular blend? Let me know. I usually do like peace and calming, stress away, maybe a little thieves to keep out the germs. <laughs> Awesome. I love that. I like stress away and orange. That's my favorite. Ooh, that sounds really creamsicle-y, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Ah. Anybody else? I like um, Sacred Mountain and Tea Tree. Ooh, yes. I like those. Very strong scents right there. I like to diffuse sage. Sage. Ooh, that's a very good one. Um, now, diffusers. Let's talk about these. There's a ton of them Young Levine has. What is your favorite and why? Mine is the lantern. Lantern. I like the lantern. Okay. I just like, it feels very outdoorsy to me. And yes. And like the um, woodsy feel. A little right. Bit. It's it's super cute too, mm -hmm. right? My if, favorite is the Aria because you can see the um, the steam, or I say steam, the, the mist. The mist inside of the clear yeah. glass. Oh, that is really pretty. I like that. What about you? I either I like Snowy the Owl, because <laughs> he's owl. cute. He is very cute. I use the Ember one. Oh yeah. Nice. yeah. Man, I feel like the masculine vibes right there with the <laughs> sacred mountain and the tea tree and the Ember, that's awesome. Hello and welcome to our show. I'm Sarah and this is my dear friend Brittany. Hi. Okay, so I've known Brittany since she was like 13 or 14 years old. Yeah. It's been a long time. I'm almost 30 now. I'm, I'm getting up there, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing. Oh, um, it's been a joy to watch you grow up. And the reason why I know you is because of Young Living. Yes. 
And so um, it's been such a wonderful journey to get to know your family and especially your mom, who's a dear yes. friend of mine. And so anyway, so we love Young Living. We love our oils. And I brought you here today because... Y'all, Brittany is like the queen of charcuterie. She has a business called Chic Charcuterie. And um, I love your charcuterie boards. They're gorgeous. And I do know that you like to infuse your dips and your food with the Young Living Essential Oils, the Vitality Oils. And, you know, when I was thinking about this, I was like, you know what? It would be such a fun way... When you're teaching a Young Living Essential Oils class and you're teaching about all the ways that we can use our oils and we can mm -hmm. use them internally for our health and wellness to support the immune system and so many different things. Um, and when we teach about how to cook with oils, mm -hmm. that would be super cool Absolutely. to have to make a charcuterie board. Absolutely. Um, because you've gathered your friends for a class and... They're hungry. Everybody's hungry. hungry. And it's fun to eat and <laughs> yeah. laugh and visit and that's the way we connect. And so I was like, oh my goodness, I need to have... I have a charcuterie board at my next class and who better to come and teach us how to make some oil infused dips um, than Brittany Cade and so <laughs> thank you for being here of course okay so what do we have here this all right so we have a beautiful small charcuterie board we have some cheeses we have some brie we have some goat cheese with blueberry we have salami pickles olives you name it it's kind of on this board and a lot of these things I got from Trader Joe's or Aldi's so super cost efficient too awesome. especially when you're having a That's gathering it, of people right? and you want it to look nice so yeah, that's kind of what we have going on on the board. Okay, so what are we going to make today? All right, so we are going to make a honey dip for our brie. Mm -hmm. So brie is kind of like your fancy cream cheese. Yes. So you can dress it up however you want, but to keep it kind of simple for everyone's palate, we're going to use some honey and infuse it with lemon vitality along with cinnamon bark vitality okay. into our honey. Okay, I've got them. Yes. And so what do you do first? So first I have... We have a bowl here, it's an empty bowl. And we're gonna take some honey and let's see how classy we can be. So I'm not always the classiest on camera. I'm like not even gonna lie. You know what, it's okay. Have you seen our show? We I have. just kinda go with the flow. And I'm here for it it's because real. so am I. <laughs> so don't ask me the measurements because I don't know. We're just gonna go with how it tastes. <laughs> like, like keeping it 100% real. Yeah, as long as my kids don't complain, I have two baby girls. And so when they're happy, I'm happy. And they're so All cute. All right, we'll just have okay, honey hands. Okay, so what's, <laughs> honey hands are great. Right. Okay, so, so what's next, which one? We're gonna add a drop of lemon. We can just add a full drop. Okay. because lemon won't knock us over like cinnamon will. Now for cinnamon, you're gonna wanna use a toothpick yeah. to kind of dip it, go right ahead with the one. Okay, so just a drop. Just a drop. Oh. We got two, it's okay, I'm here for the spiciness. But you know what, yeah. I mean, I love lemon. Yeah. And really lemon is one of those really forgiving essential oils, like you can add a couple extra drops, it just yeah. boosts the lemon, but it's not like the spicy it's fresh. rush. Exactly. It is fresh. Yeah. And of course, lemon vitality, it's great for our immune system. Yeah. So many great things. Okay, so next. Next we're gonna use the cinnamon bark and we're going to grab a toothpick. Okay, I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to let you demonstrate this one because... You, you don't trust yourself, do you? you well, you know, you know what? I I actually have a lot of experience using okay. our oils in the kitchen, but I want to see how you do it. Oh, okay, that's what she's <laughs> going to tell us. Okay. So that's what's going to be. So I'm just going to dip it right in the inside and we're going to... It's got a nice glossy feel of the oil and we're just going to... Oh yeah. Okay, let's, show, let's, show them. Let, let's show the, the camera mm -hmm. here. The camera's really neat. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Right. Here's what you're going to do. There so you we're go. We're just going to wipe the sides. And then we're going to take another toothpick, me, and we're going to taste it and make sure okay. we don't now knock ourselves over. Okay, tell everybody, why did you just use a toothpick with the cinnamon bark? Okay, so cinnamon bark is a very um, more spicy oil. Not spicy as in hot, just has so much flavor and boldness. Mm -hmm. So if I added a whole drop into this concoction, yeah, I, it would be over. Like it would be way it would too overpower. much. Overpower. Yeah. So by using the toothpick, I kind of get to control the environment of the honey with how much spice I'm putting into the honey. So, so, okay, now what's next? So now we're going to taste it. So you grab yourself oh. a toothpick, oh. and we're going to see if we like it. Okay. So I'm going to so go more is, by taste than recipe. So it's honey, lemon, cinnamon. Okay, so I feel like we could use more cinnamon. 
I feel like I taste honey. I feel like I need more cinnamon. Yep. So me okay. and Sarah are both here. Very we go. Experienced. So here's another. Here you go. Another toothpick. You know, secretly, I could almost put a drop and be okay with it. I and do. I'm pretty sure you could too. But you know what? I know you've been using the Young Living oils since, like, since I was like seven years old. You guys, like, my 22 years. Oh yeah. Like your like my entire life. Pretty much your oil. entire life has this been all Young Living. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, not, not, it's 16 years for me, but 22 for you. That's a exactly. long time, but we're so used to them. We can exactly. just like, okay, here, there's, All your, right. there's so yours. If this isn't enough, we're going to hit it with a drop, Sarah. All right, girl. We have to hit it with the drop. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. We're it's almost good. there. Okay. okay, okay. Do one more. Do the whole drop. One okay. more. Here we go. And then we got to try it. Oh, it's a drop and a half. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Stir it up. Get it. <laughs> Okay, here, you take that too. You know what? The fact that you gave me the one you stirred with, that could be extra spicy. I know what you're doing. <laughs> okay. But you like spicy. I okay, do. here we go. I do. Oh, okay, that's yes. perfect. You should have started with the drop. It kind of punches you right in the but mouth. It's a good punch. It's but a it good is punch. a good punch. And my next is really like, ah. Okay, so, you know, what can we, oh, what's the next step? Okay, so now we're going to take our honey. Oh, what this is that? Thing? Honeycomb, yes. And okay, we are going to drizzle it. So I've created this beautiful heart. Okay, I'm going to move this over so Go we right can ahead. see this a little better. So. And so you're just going to put it in the middle. That is so cute. of our hearts. Did you just, did you use a cookie cutter to make I this I did. Heart? So, little trick um, for those who love charcuterie and you want to stencil brie, put your brie in the freezer for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then take it out, slice your brie in half with a cheese cutter, and then take the top half, grab your cookie cutter, punch it right in, slowly take it out, put the brie back together, and then you've got a lovely heart, because brie is very sticky. Look at that. So, Isn't that pretty? Yeah. That's and so then good. you just cut into it and serve with yep. crackers, and mm -hmm. we have these little toasts here. Yes. Um, okay. Now, I see something on this board. And I've always wanted to know how to make one of these, y'all. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Do it. Because it's, it's a salami. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. It's a salami rose. Yes. And I've always wondered how to make these. So I asked, I specifically asked Brittany to show us. Do we need to move the lovely out of the way? Let's, let's move this out right. of the way and put this one right here. And so, okay, what do we do? All right, so it is super, super simple. So I'm just gonna split the meat so we both have some. So we're gonna take about, let's do four or five pieces. Mm -hmm. And you're going to lay it on. Here, do it with me. Oh, we're gonna I do it together. Do we're gonna do okay, it together, I'm like okay? Watching. Okay, no, so let's have pieces. I'm and nervous. we're gonna lay them side okay. by side and kind of overlap them a little okay. bit. So usually when I do my charcuterie okay, let's classes. Let's see if we can do it like this way. Oh, Maybe so they can camera, see better. The camera can see us. I don't awesome. know. Here we go. You're good. Let's see. So, but I teach people how to make roses. Oh, no. There you go. Do I have enough room here? You do. You do. Okay. okay so that's good. We're okay. good. So now what we're going to do, oh. we are going to fold what we have in half, just like this. And we're okay. going to kind of crease it. You want to push kind of hard on the base. Uh-oh. You're good. Okay. Here I go. There you go. Great. All right, are you ready for the right part? Okay. Are you ready? What do we do? Just, we're just gonna roll it. Roll it, and that's we're it? We're gonna roll it, yep. Oh my gosh. We're kinda holding, and we're just gonna roll it. We can do this. Okay. And I now we have this. the bud of your oh, rose. No. no, you're good, you're good. Oh, See, no. Here, See? Like. she's got the bud. And then, if ever you wanna make your rose a little larger. <gasps> it's cute. Here, hold this okay. in this hand. Okay. And just add? You just add. And so then you have roses, and you just keep adding more petals okay. if you desire. And so I just fold it over just fold and it add in a half petal. And cool. add a petal. So when I'm done, I mm -hmm. saw on this one you had toothpicks. Yes, because okay. sometimes the meat can be flimsy. You just okay, add a toothpick so right like, in between. Exactly, ah. and it'll help it to stay. I love that. I love how on this other one, you, like, you put, mm -hmm. I can put little things on the side. So the cool or, thing is with charcuterie is you get to make it unique to you. Okay, so there's no see? such thing as a perfect it's board. Like it's a just leaf. a U board. Exactly. 
I love like it. Or something. Okay. You have to show them. You know oh my word, this is amazing. How fun. Well, Brittany, thank you so You're much so for welcome. joining us today. Um, and I can't wait to have you on for another one. You're you're gonna show us in a future episode, like something super duper oh, cool yes. and huge of and course, amazing. More food. For like a big brunch or dinner mm -hmm. party. Okay. Well, we'll be ready for it. Well, welcome back to another episode of Dumb Stuff with Oils. And today we have our illustrious upline, Miss Karen, who is going to share with us today her best story. My best story? <laughs> <laughs> well, as we were talking a few minutes ago, I probably have a ton of them, but we tend to block them out because, well, we just want to forget about the dumb things that we've done. Yes. Although I can't, I can think of one. I can definitely think of one. My, my family, they actually thought I was trying to kill them. <laughs> they were I like, where's the love? Yeah. <laughs> they said, where's the love? And I promise you, I wasn't trying to kill them because I do love them, which is why I was doing what I was doing <laughs> sure. because I love them. We use these oils because we love yes. our family right. yes. Absolutely. with the best of intentions. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was with <laughs> I can just imagine what's coming. Like, right. I had a similar experience. Yes, I, I was making <laughs> spaghetti. Oh, goodness. And making my pasta sauce, doing all the right <laughs> stuff. I had, I do the potato, potatoes, sorry, tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> do the tomatoes. I mean, really, you know, blanch them, yeah. do all the stuff, peel them. You're like, I'm going, like, I'm going in. Scratch. I was going in, yes. Total yeah. scratching it. <laughs> well, I scratched it all right. <laughs> And then I thought, well, every good tomato sauce, every good sauce for your pasta has to have oregano. Oregano is uh, 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 a bad I culprit say, sometimes. Yeah. I have a lot of but oregano. It's the best. It's the <laughs> well, I mean, because you're just thinking it's it's just oregano. Right. right. So I, I had my herb oregano because I have a little herb garden out in the yard. And so I usually go out and you clip it. And I thought, I use these oils now. I was pretty fresh on this, pretty fresh <laughs> in my oil journey. <laughs> And I thought, well, they smell the same. It's, I mean, surely it's the same. I, so one whole drop, one whole drop, and it was done. We were done. It was over. Oh, oh my, my family, I mean, my husband was like, oh, 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 what did you do? And I was like, what do you mean? What? I hadn't even had a bite yet. He's like, taste it. And I was like, oh, oh my gosh, oh. children, babies, don't eat don't that. Eat oh my goodness. <laughs> my kids were younger. And so he was like, what, what do you, wait, I don't have a lot of money. Are you trying to get some of my money? I was like, what? He's like, what? what are you doing? I said, I'm so sorry. Well, come to find out really what I should have done was just taken a toothpick. Isn't that amazing? And just, yeah, just it's dip it in there. Teeny, teeny, just teeny, teeny, just teeny. a yes. little, not a yes. drop. Mm -hmm. One drop was way too much. <laughs> Because if you try Excuse to me. fix it, oh, well, yeah. you gotta oh, make, you gotta make ten, three more yeah, pots. pots. Yes. Like how big was your pot? Yeah. Yeah. Really? No, it was good size. Like wow. it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a little bitty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were only five of us at the time, so like and a so full serving for everyone. But yeah, but it, but it was larger. Goodness and the gracious. one drop killed it. Killed oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't kill your family. Tonight. Like we're going out for pizza tonight. <laughs> right. Right. So a toothpick and just put the oregano in it and swirl it. Taste it, taste it. <laughs> Did it, not enough? Another toothpick, <laughs> and then swirl it, and then taste it. Yeah. Start small, get so, bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. The one drop was way too much. Start low yeah. and go slow, people. There you yeah. go. Yes. I like yep. that. Low and yep. slow. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for yes. sharing your story with us. And yeah. if you have a story, we want to hear it. Um, you can send your videos to info at thatoilshow.com and... Um, We'll be, we can't wait to hear them. So yes. we'll see you next time. Anybody else with one of the personal care products that you like? So I have something. Um, and I don't want to, okay, I feel like we should be real, right? Yes. So there are products yeah. that when I first switched over, I was like, I don't like that. Like, I think that's real life. Yes. That not, yeah. But I think that if you really give it a go. Yeah. There are ways that you can, um, I don't want to say hack the products, but find a way to use them that works for you and your family. Because you have to think about, we all have different, um, our water is different. Like oh, I have right. very hard water. So some products don't necessarily oh, work. Oh, like this one. Um, I have it sitting here. Oh, the yes. The dishwashing oh, yes. powder yes. doesn't work in my dish, uh, in right. my dishwasher. Yeah. 
but it's yeah. great in my toilet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, well, okay. So for that, for I mean, I actually use the regular old um, dish soap in my dishwasher because it doesn't suds that much, right? Oh, okay. So I just put a little oh, tiny, I put a little great. tiny squirt of that in my dishwasher and it works great. Um, but I will say my first product that when I switched over, I was like, this is going to take me a while to like own it, <laughs> um, was the shampoo and the conditioner. And, but it took me, but I really feel like it was my body kind of my hair yes. and my scalp almost it's detoxing yeah. from the products that so I had been good, using. Yes. So we have yes. to remember too that our bodies are used to a lot of chemicals mm -hmm. and they don't necessarily always That's respond good. well. That's a good but point. I will say like for me personally, I dilute that product and it is fantastic mm -hmm. diluted. But I never would have done that if I hadn't seen someone else yeah. share a, a hack or a way that they use it. Yeah. And so, if you, so for me, like if you find a product and you're like, I'm not really sure about this. Like, ask the people in your team. Ask people um, who've gone before you and who've used these products, how do you use this? Because right. there may be some very simple solution to doing that. That's so One good. thing I think most people don't realize is because of, we talked about the sodium lauryl sulfate, that's a sudsing agent, yes. right? Yeah. We're so used We're to bubbles. We're so used to yeah. bubbles and like this like and we equate silky lather. lather. Yes. 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 Yeah. We, no, no bubbles, no clean. Yes. Yeah. 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 My husband just the other day said, I need suds. And I was like, <laughs> Mine little, too. I was like, put a little baking soda in it. Because like, <laughs> it, it, makes, it makes bubbles, it makes that suds, awesome. and it makes yeah. you yes. think yeah. that you're getting something. Yeah. But I did that for a while too. I put, actually put baking soda in the shampoo when I would dilute it Ooh. and put a little baking soda in it. Okay. I don't do that anymore because I felt like it was probably a little more harsh uh, harsh on <laughs> my hair than I needed it to be. Mm -hmm. But it got me over the hump of mm -hmm. needing suds or it, just yeah. that transition period. So I think it's that's good. It's a lot of these things are common mm -hmm. that people have some of the same experiences and they're like, well, I don't like it because they have to transition the way they think. To, yeah. And so there are little hacks like adding a little baking soda one and you'll the, get some suds. One of the transitions for the, I just want to jump in on your story, yeah. is the shampoo. Because when I first started, when, you're, when, when I had the shampoo in my hair, it didn't feel the same. Like yes. I, it was, didn't, I was like, is this cleaning? Is this cleaning? I had to retrain myself mm -hmm. to know when it washes out, when I rinse it out, is when I feel the clean. Yes. Right. Yeah. Like before, you know, you're feeling the suds and your, your brain's like, well, it's sudsing, so it must be cleaning, right. Right? right? And so when this doesn't suds up, you're like, is it really cleaning? Yeah. But then when you rinse, you're like, oh yeah. 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 It's you like, feel. It's so what I did, yeah. so what I did was when I was making that transition, mm -hmm. I would dilute it so I didn't, I feel like it was stretching, right? And my money was going for, farther, but I actually would take that um, same, thing and wash it twice. And then when I washed it the second time, obviously not using a whole lot, um, I would get so many suds the second time. So which was telling me that the first time it was Worked. cleaning it. Yeah. Yeah. It okay. just wasn't getting, cause it was all the oil that was in my hair was sure. being washed out. Yeah. Uh -huh. So just kind of those things I think are yeah. that's so good, good to yeah. keep in mind. It's, it's like the proof is in the rinse. Yes. Yeah. Once you rinse it, you see it. Yeah. You know, so when we're when we're spring cleaning, when we're ditching and switching, my favorite thing that Young Living has is loyalty rewards. Oh yes, yes, yes. I mean. yes. yay! So I, my first month in Young Living, I signed up on July. Um, 12, 2006. Leave and, it to Sarah to remember that. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I celebrate it every year. Our That's lives awesome. are completely yes. changed. Amen. Um, for the better, praise God. And I placed my first loyalty rewards order by the end of that month. And so I've been on loyalty rewards for, I don't know how many consecutive months that is, but it's been <laughs> over 16 yeah. years. And so that's the way that I was able to then make a plan and say, okay, this month I'm going to get these few items. The, this month I'm going to get these few items. And then, you know, with loyalty rewards, it's our monthly order. It's, it's rewarding the loyal customers mm -hmm. and brand partners for ordering at least 50 PV a month every month. And your first three months you get 10% back mm -hmm. in points to spend on the free products that you're needing. Months four to 24 is 20% back, and after two years is 25%. So when I saw that, I do the math. I'm a budgeter. I'm a numbers person. I'm like, okay, I, I had made the whole wish list with all our different health issues and concerns and what areas we wanted to support with oils and supplements, and then switching out the house. I'm like, okay, if I do this strategically, 
I can get more of the things that we need for free. Mm, I can make yes. my dollar stretch further. So loyalty rewards is amazing. And every month, I, I think only a couple of times when I accidentally forgot to change my order, only a couple of times, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. I did that today, <laughs> just so y'all know. Before today. we started recording, she was on the phone with Young Living. She's I was like, like, can y'all please help me? <laughs> They're great. They're great, by the way. <laughs> So anyway, but I, every, every time it's different because we're needing different things and I have certain things on kind of a rotation and what we're needing for the household, for personal care and for our different health issues. So, well, I mentioned earlier that when I came in, I had a $50 budget. And so I got on Accenture Rewards immediately because mm -hmm. I needed the biggest bang for my buck. Yeah, I right, needed right. that extra bonus because, you know, I was already on a budget. Everything mm -hmm. was, I had a wish list six months long because mm -hmm. I could only buy 50 bucks at a time. So getting that bonus back, you know, so I came in August 6th of 2006. Yes, I, I, I gave her oils. She was I needing oils. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this month is my 10 year anniversary. <gasps> Yay! March 13th, 2013. <laughs> yep. Yay. Oh my yeah. goodness. Well, and so now here we are and yeah. I, the rest is history, yep. right? Yes. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, make sure you get in there, learn. If you don't know what's in the products that you have in your home for your family, be a label reader, look at that. And I encourage you to get on loyalty rewards as fast as you can. Um, make a plan, reach out to the person that shared Young Living with you and make your plan so that you can get all of these life-giving, life-changing products yes. into your home. Yes. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching That Oil Show. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can catch new episodes every first Tuesday of the month. And if you enjoyed learning about these amazing products and want some of your own, reach out to the person who shared That Oil Show with you.